what's good YouTube welcome to the first uh, I guess episode video uh, of the mental health vlog um, in this video uh, like I previously stated in the intro um, I'm gonna be taking you guys on this journey with me this journey of mental health and ultimately finding uh, true peace and happiness uh, with myself um, so starting on this video, I will be, well, I will be, I'm, I'm actually in Florida right now. If you don't know, I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, my dad still lives here, so I decided to pull up on him. Um, also, like I stated in a previous video, uh, through therapy, I realized that uh, there was a lot of stuff growing up in my past that I never really expressed. Uh, emotions, feelings that I've never really expressed, so I just been carrying that weight uh, throughout adulthood and now till now. So basically, the idea is to basically unravel all those feelings and emotions that I had uh, growing up that I never told anyone, uh, just kept them to myself, and eventually. It led to uh, major depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be going. Basically, I pulled up on him. He has no idea that I'm here. Uh, I pulled up in Florida and for the weekend. And basically, me and my dad, we gonna have like a heart to heart. Basically, man to man, just uh, me expressing my feelings, things that I felt as a child. I mean, it's not his fault. He had no way of knowing. I didn't tell him that I had these feelings. So now, I mean, hey, I feel like we're both adults. We're both grown, and we both can sit down and have this uh, tough discussion. Uh, I think it would be beneficial for both of us. Uh, so, yeah, y'all stick a tune, and more to come. Okay, boom. So to give y'all some, uh, I guess, like, context backstory about me and my dad's relationship um so okay i guess we gotta start with my mom because she the one who had me so my mom uh was in the army she met my biological father uh you know what grown people do they did they do and hey they had me um, my mom had to get out of the army uh never met my biological father to this day um so hey that's a whole nother story neither here nor there but um my pops he raised he was there since i was two years old he raised me um him and my mom got a divorce later on but i mean he's still been in my life uh to this day so those feelings that i was talking about um basically like when they got a divorce and different stuff like that it's just feelings that i bottled up kept um kept inside i never told anyone I uh, never told him how I really felt. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm here for this weekend. Basically just to get these feelings out, these emotions out, um, because I believe um, to move forward in my life, I have to deal with all the past traumas and stuff uh, from my childhood. So that's what I'm here for. Um, I'm hoping that it goes well. I think it'll go well. I think we're both mature men and we sh will be able to get through this conversation um i know i'll probably cry that's just me uh, i'm more in tune with my emotions now and hey i'm not afraid to cry so that's just me i'm not afraid to let my emotions out now like i was younger i felt like i had to basically like just be tough all the time um uh, and that's not the case uh yeah i feel like that's a a thing especially in the black community that the males like we feel like we have to be tough all the time we don't know how to express our feelings and basically that's another reason i started this vlog basically to break that stigma down uh give mental health awareness to the black community and let them know that hey you got feelings man you can't just be happy all the time you're sad you need to express that as well uh, anger, all these emotions uh, need to be expressed. Don't bottle them up uh, because they'll only hurt you 
in the future if you don't let those emotions out so yeah we about to um go pull up on my pops on his lunch break like i said he has no idea i'm here so we'll get that reaction from him and then i'll let you guys know how like the conversation goes i'm not going to record a conversation i feel like that's just too personal that's just between me and him but i'll let you guys know like how the conversation went and like my takeaways and stuff like that so yeah hey we about to pull up on him at work so let's get right to that all right so boom i just pulled up to his job uh, i don't know how i'm gonna get him to come outside because his wife is at home she wasn't feeling well so i thought she was gonna be here so i'm gonna just have to ask some random person just to go get him and then we're gonna get that reaction and yeah boom so i'm about to uh walk up to the door now All right, boom. So they just called him on the walk. He about to walk up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Boom, I'm walking back to my car. He uh, about to take a lunch break, but I got what I could on a recording. Uh, not really supposed to be recording inside where he work at, but yeah, I did what I could. He was like, oh, you about to make me cry. <laughs> Turn the camera off. I, don't, I know he don't want everybody on YouTube seeing that. But I'm about to uh, go pick us up some lunch and then we about to just chill. But yeah. Okay, boom. So the last thing... Uh, I showed in the video me uh, get us some lunch. So let's pick it up from there. Um, got the lunch. Um, yeah, got the lunch. We went in, ate lunch in his car. We talked a little bit, um, but it wasn't like the. I guess the the real conversation I came for. So it was like just some regular conversation, uh, chopping it up. Woo, woo, woo. And then um, he had a meeting at one. So it was like, I went there like 1230, got the food, boom, boom, boom. Came back eight, it was time for, it was one o'clock. So he had to go back to work. But we didn't really have a conversation um, conversation that i really want to have uh the heart to heart um so i mean but that was good uh i got a surprise on um, as y'all can see uh he was happy so i mean that was good so um that was friday was it friday yeah but that was friday um he had to work saturday So Friday night, boom, I went out with my uh, best friend. We had a good time. Ended up standing out of his house. Boom, Saturday, my pops had to work. Um, yeah, he had to work Saturday. Uh, I don't remember what I did Saturday. I know I watched college football and then I go out Saturday night. I think I did go out Saturday night. I don't, I don't remember. I think I did go out Saturday night. But Sunday, boom. Oh, this is the big finale, boom. Um, let me start before by saying, um, overall, this experience was great. Um, I feel like it was very beneficial, uh, both for me and my pops. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it was a success. The, the trip was a success. And, yeah. Uh, I would advise anyone who, I mean, is on their journey of their own. Um, if you're going back and like trying to uncover stuff with uh, 
uh, family members, mom, dad, brother, sister, whatever it may be. Just um, I encourage you to do it. It's 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 gonna be tough like finding the right words to say, but like once that conversation gets started, um, it, it, only up from there. So definitely will recommend. But yeah, so let's get to the the conversation Sunday. It was Sunday after I watched the Steelers lose. Um, Jaguars lost too. It was later on in the evening, I believe. Oh yeah, it was in the evening. I went over there uh, basically uh, to get my stuff. I had already texted him um, that Saturday and told him. Or, no, it was earlier that Sunday. You know, like during while I was watching the games, I told him uh, that I wanted to come talk to him, and then he was like, "Yeah, I'm here." Boom, boom. So I went over there. Um, we went outside. We just started talking, just like regular talk, football talk. Then boom, like, oh how I don't even remember like what like led into it but led in boom he started talking he started saying some of the stuff he felt boom 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 I'm not gonna get into any details but yeah so we just talking back and forth boom 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 and I I told y'all previously I was gonna cry I already knew it I bust out crying yo um but it, it felt good um, to get it all out. Um, and then we went into like some more like regular conversation and like it happened again. Like we just start opening up more. So like it was, it was, it was good. Like I cried, laughed, I mean, expressed my emotions. It was, it was good definitely, but um, I just feel like now, like, like the air is clear. It's like no, like, question, you know what I'm saying, of how I feel, how he feel. It's like the air is clear. Everything is out there. And now it's like, I feel like on this point on, it's nothing but building from here. So it's like, I don't know. It just feel good. Like, that's... That's how I can do it. It's, it's a good feeling. Um, definitely, like I said, would advise anyone else going through anything similar, uh, with parents, brother, sister, whoever it might be, like just just have that conversation. But at the same time, when you do have that conversation, it's like both people got to be ready to have that conversation. So, like, I would say, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, both people got to go into the conversation willing to listen to each other and not basically like trying to throw blame here, or there. Like, it's nobody's fault. Like, these feelings are feelings. Um, no matter if you think they're valid or not, they are valid to the person who has those feelings. So let them express them however they want to express them. And then, boom, you express your feelings and say your piece. And then, boom, 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 just go back and forth like that. Um, I think, yeah, that's the only way it can be beneficial. If now it's, it's going to start an argument, then it's no point in even, you know what I'm saying, having a conversation if y'all, y'all not ready. So, yeah, but um, that's that. Uh, uh, let's, uh, but yeah that's uh episode one of the uh, mental health vlog uh i appreciate y'all tuning in i hope uh hope someone learned something from this uh i will be continuing this on uh like i said it's gonna be a vlog i haven't decided if i'm gonna do it weekly or not uh, most likely it's gonna be weekly and then um i'll be having like uh, informational videos like basically like what is mental health like what are signs of anxiety just different stuff like that 
Um, if it's any topics that you guys will want to see, uh, you can write it down in the comments. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please do me a solid hit that subscribe button. And until next time, y'all uh, spread love, not hate. Y'all have a good one. Peace.